Now look at this question here. A light string A, B, C, D, E. So A, B, C, D, E is a light string and it is fixed to a vertical wall at one end A and a load of 20 kg of is hanging freely from the other end E. So that is what the situation. And if the system is in equilibrium, find the values of W1 and W2 and also the tensions in the portions of the strings and consider the pack D to be smooth and BC to be horizontal. So, it is given that this is a horizontal part and here this is a smooth part. Okay. Here we have two junctions. Here this is one junction applied with three forces, the other junction applied with three forces because the system is in equilibrium at both junctions uh, separately we can apply Lamy's theorem. So, now let us just put the forces. Here there is a pull on this junction through the wire what we call tension in the wire C D we call T D C D C. Okay. Again this wire pulls this junction this side that is tension in A B and the middle wire experiences or applies tension in the inward directed arrows. So, T B C is the tension in B C. For this junction tension B C has to be taken to the right for this junction tension B C has to be taken to the left and here of course the weight W 2 is acting down here weight W 1 is acting down. So, these are the forces acting and their directions at the two junctions. Now, let us take only the junction C separately instead of putting angles there and uh, making it clumsy I want to put a free body diagram for the junction C. So, these are the directions of the three forces at C. If we represent the forces at C compare that here this is tension B C pulling it to the left and this is tension D C pulling it towards D and this is the weight W 2 and these three are keeping this point in equilibrium. But all three look to be unknowns it is not because this is known why because here we have the weight 20 kgf it is not mass it is weight weight in kgf that means weight in gravitational units. So, this weight is pulling it down and it is given that this is smooth and there is no friction there. So, when there is no friction there all this pulling force will be transferred through the same wire and comes here and acts in this direction. So, this pull is exactly transferred here. So, T D C is exactly equal to 20 kg of in this direction and because of the absence of friction. So, we know that T D C is 20. So, before going to that let me take the angles here. This is the angle that is 90 and this angle if you see since it is 120 and the remaining angle here 60 plus 90 makes it 150. So, these are the angles. Now, I will go to that T D C is 20 kgf that is known. So, this force is known all the angles are known. So, we can apply Lamy's theorem at the junction C. So, if you take the first force as a 20 this is known force 20 upon sine of opposite angle how much is the opposite angle between the other two forces 90 is equal to the second force B C I take T B C upon sin of the angle between the other two forces that is sin of 150 is equal to W 2 upon sin of the angle between the other two forces that is sin 120. So, both are known one known only one unknown. So, you equate these two to get B C and equate this and this you will get the value of W 2. So, simplify you get T B C is 10 kgf and this and that will give you W 2 as 10 root 3 kgf because the first force is taken in kgf the other forces automatically come in kgf. So, the one junction C has been solved using Lamy's theorem. Now, let us go for the second junction here let us put the angles here. So, this is one force T A B the other force is T B C the third force is W 1 and if you go for the angles this angle is 90 this is of course 150. So, 150 means the remaining is 30 30 plus 90 this makes it 120 degree. So, these are the angles here and now if you apply Lamy's theorem here to this junction here one force is known because here we have T B C 10 kgf. So, this is 10 kgf. So, 10 kgf to the left means here 10 kgf to the right equilibrium. So, this is 10 kgf. So, this is known as 10 kgf. So, if you take that T B C I took directly as 10 because I got the value there 10 upon opposite angle 120 and then that is equal to W 1 upon sin of opposite angle 150 is equal to T A B upon sin of opposite angle 90. So, here both are known denominator known only one unknown here also one unknown. So, equate these two to get W 1 equate the other one third one with the first one we get T A B. So, W 1 is going to be 10 upon root 3 kgf and T A B is going to be 
20 upon root 3 kg. So this is how we can apply Lamis theorem separately at the two junctions to find the unknown forces to keep the system in equilibrium.